Okay, I don't know if you guys can see me good or not, but this angle is super weird because of my setup here. It's like all messed up. But I have to do a quick review on the book Docile by K.M. Para Zapara. I don't know how to say his last name, but this is the book. I love the cover. Okay, so I'm going to do a really quick review. And of course, there's going to be spoilers like, hello, obviously, there's going to be spoilers. So if you haven't read the book or are planning on reading the book and do not want it to be spoiled, then do not keep watching. So Docile is set in a dystopian, I guess, future. Um, it's definitely a dystopian world. Um, I believe it is in the future because of certain technologies that exist in this world that are that are very advanced, such as um, holograms and stuff like that. And it, the only holograms are like papers, like you can manifest papers um, digitally to, uh, and you can like hold them and stuff. It, I don't know how to explain it, but that. And then also, um, no, actually that was the most futuristic thing, but the, and it, it's also like a pretty kind of violent story. Um, it's definitely not like, um, I guess it, it's like definitely 18 and year, 18 years old and plus. Um, I would recommend that age and higher because it does get um, very not safe for work in a lot of the in a lot of the chapters. Um, but basically, the premise of the story is that they live in this world where um, the only way to basically um, pay your debts off is called debtor's prison, or um, you become a docile and being a docile and when you look it up in the dictionary it just means to be like submissive and um so you're basically uh giving your life away uh to become a slave to trillionaires um millionaires billionaires and the concept is that you're supposed to take docilene which is a fluid that is injected into your into your body that makes you more um, respondent and more obedient to orders because you're not going to be controlled by um, by your I guess you would call it owner but they never use that term um, you just you just call them your um, patron they call them their patron um, so basically this uh, this kid named Elijah um, wants to pay off his family's debt and it like accumulates so it's like they have millions of dollars that they need to pay off. And so um, luckily for him, a very handsome, uh, according to the book, um, a very handsome man who is a trillionaire and also happens to be the son of the owner of the company that makes Dosseline. So yeah, no pressure. He actually ends up liking Elijah and ends up wanting Elijah to be his docile and he agrees to pay his um he agrees to pay his debts for as as long as as long as Elijah chooses a life term with him and um luckily Elijah is into men so um it works out great because um the trillionaire his name is Alex Bishop luckily he is gay too so it kind of works out for the two of them but anyways, um, Elijah makes it very clear. Oh, this story is told in two points of views, Alex's and Elijah, so that's really cool. But this story uh, makes it very clear that Elijah does not want to uh, take Dosseline because of the past history that Dosseline has caused um, to his mother. She's basically like a, like, a, like a robot now because technically, according to Bishop Laboratories and Bishop the company, um, the trillionaire's company, <clears throat> according to them, after being two weeks off of Dosseline, um, after you've like paid off your debts and all of that, the side effects of Dosseline need to wear out, but they never did with Elijah's mom. And so now he like hates like with a passion. Um, he like hates with a passion Dosseline and like all this stuff about the company and all these people. So it's very interesting that um, he he kind of ends up falling for Alex Bishop. Um, I'm just like progressively moving 
forward in the story right now. He ends up falling in love with Elijah. I mean, and with Alex, as it shows in the book. And then Alex ends up falling in love with Elijah, even though he shouldn't be. And then Alex has some. Alex has two rich friends, Mariah and um, what's his name? Dutch. I think his name is Dutch. It's because I read the book like two weeks ago, so I'm kind of forgetting the names. Um, Dutch and uh, Mariah, and they're total assholes. And um, they just have like these weird like parties and it's just like it's just like too much and Elijah hates it and Alex doesn't isn't really into it like he prefers to just be with Elijah it's a whole mess but um anyways I think the concept of the book honestly like in its true um am I like too short um I think the concept of the book is to be is to show that despite all this all these beliefs that Alex has about Dosseling because it's his father's work, him and his father's work, um, lifetime work, literally, that's how they make their trillions, um, is the fact that love will overcome anything. Like, because he ends up like actually falling in love, they both end up falling in love for each other. And so, and that's not how it, that's not what should be happening. Like, Alex should be the owner of Elijah and just the owner and not have any feelings for him. But uh, because Elijah refused Dosseline, his emotions are all intertwined in this whole mess. So it's like, it's like, wow, he's actually feeling um, bad for the guy. And he's feeling like, after like he, like, uh, what do you call it? After he, what is the word? After he, why can't I think of the word? my god after he disciplines him after he disciplines him he like starts feeling empathy for him he's like oh my god like i can't believe i made you do that but in his head he doesn't say it out loud like oh my god i can't believe i made you do that blah blah, blah. um and so he like starts developing feelings for him blah, blah blah and then his father starts um causing this huge legal battle with alex towards the end because um because it's making the media is like the main thing like it is not making that family look good at all that he's falling in love with his docile and then everyone's talking shit because alex is like falling in love with his docile and blah 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 and then turns out that there's this like what do you call it like renegade like rebellious group that is um against uh docile and all of that and then uh the best friend of alex dutch he ends up being in that group and he's like the leader of it and then this whole everything like blows up and then they have this the last hundred pages of the book is like this legal battle which i thought was so not unnecessary but i was just like whoa like i liked the first half of the book and then like the second half i'm kind of like eh. um but overall honestly um overall honestly the book was it was good it was a it was a good read um it was definitely it felt very like realistic but then it also felt like sci-fi kind of i can just imagine it being a movie and it being very like um sci-fi but it could also be like very like earthly like down to earth if that makes sense um but overall i did really like the book and yeah, obviously towards the end they did they like broke up and then they actually got back together towards the very end. But um uh, they ended up um helping fix um Elijah's mom towards the end and they fixed her and now um Alex is going to be in charge of like this whole new company. I guess he's going to be st start making a whole new company of um counteractive agents for the Dosseline. So basically going against everything his father's work because his father in the end on obviously ended up firing him from the company and basically like disowned him because he, they're all about power and control, right? And so yes, so that is my um review on Docile, so definitely go check it out. It was really good. Okay.